I'm reviewing the Limu Supreme Bluetooth 4.2 Active Noise Cancelling Headphones, uh, which I recently purchased uh, from Amazon. And uh, I've been using them for about a month now, three weeks. Um, and I have to say I've really uh, enjoyed this product. Um, it's been uh, really reliable um, and very easy to use. Um, what I found is that uh, in my old age now, I'm actually much more uh, reluctant to use complicated things just because I don't have the time that I used to as a younger uh, person to invest in, um, you know, dealing with complicated electronics and the like. Um, so anyway, um, I've had this for about three, uh, three weeks, four weeks now. Um, one of the first things is with, uh, you know, Bluetooth is that uh, you can transition from using uh, corded headphones uh, to uh, having the freedom of Bluetooth. And I've used this on several occasions where um, I could just slap these on and I had um, a phone which I doubles as an MP3 player connected to it and I would just listen to it and it's amazing because you don't have you don't feel tethered anymore with the cords um, so that's really um, been one of my favorite use cases for any it, uh, to be fair for any Bluetooth headset but what's special about this because I, I do have other Bluetooth um, earphones um, earbuds um, but this is clearly as you can see here clearly um, you know, headphones uh, oriented. And uh, what's nice about this is that, you know, they also have, uh, you know, the right and left. Um, I don't know if you can see it here, but they tell you like which side goes in which ear, left and right, which is kind of nice. Um, so you'd automatically know. Um, and in terms of operation, these turn um, and uh, they also fold, as you can see here, right, which is good just to make it easier to pack away um, the packaging itself came in a black matte box um, you know I'll be honest with you it's probably not the most impressive packaging you could um, buy something uh, a little bit more expensive Bose headphones Sony held headphones those are going to have really great packaging the kind of thing where if you gave it as a gift um, they would work out really great um, and, and people would really like that um, the kind of the matte box, um, you know, wasn't the most sophisticated packaging. And that's kind of consistent with a lot of products that I feel like I've ordered, you know, that are probably made uh, outside of the U.S., uh, usually in Asia or China, uh, for example. So um, the packaging was very basic. Um, it, the English was actually pretty good on it, which is not the case with a lot of um with a lot of equipment that you might buy that is made in China or these Chinese branded um, kind of products. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the packaging and the instructions were nice, um, but not near, not nearly as good as what I would expect for Sony or Bose, but those are going to be way more expensive. Um, so if you want to impress someone with a gift, those might be something that you might want to consider. But especially if this is the kind of thing where it's just using for you, um, this is pretty awesome. So, um, in terms of operation, you can see um, here's the right headphone, here's the left earphone. So on the right, they have um, this on-off switch. Okay, and then um, you know they have a plug-in right there for uh, your micro uh, SD to charge it, and then they have a really um, easy to use like. Uh, pl plus and minus to lower and increase uh, increase the volume and then this play hits play or pause on your um, music and and using it with an Android phone it's worked flawlessly um, you can double tap it to jump to um, the next song uh, as well uh, or jump back um, so it kind of has a relatively simple operation um, you can see um, this I think don't think this is metal. This feels like plastic to me. Most of this feels like kind of plastic, except here this um, is kind of a, I don't know what kind of uh, material this is, but I found that this material, I mean, it's important um, because this serves two functions. This protects, um, this kind of helps seal around your head to um, help preserve the sound um, and uh, hopefully block out some of the excess noise. Um, and so it should be really comfortable and in, in, in using it fortunately it has been very uh, comfortable um, 
on this side, uh, there's a little um, jack for you to plug in. Um, in the box, um, there's not a lot. There's instructions. It also comes with a headphone jack, one that plugs into this end, and then this can plug into, say, a phone or whatever that has a regular headphone jack, um, which is in being becoming increasingly rare, unfortunately, um, as uh, Samsung uh, and Apple drop uh, the headphone adapter. But, um, you know, that's kind of um, the price of progress, I suppose. And then this is very important. Right here you have the automatic noise canceling ANC. So right now it's in the off position uh, because it's uh, red, but you can flip it on and then it, you can see that's green. So when that's green, then automatic noise canceling is turned on. So um, very simple to use um, and really just kind of a pleasant, clean, um, you know, kind of uh, cleanly designed device. Kind of I've thrown this, I've been, you know, a little less than um, gentle with it. Uh, I've thrown it in, in my bag, etc. cetera. Um, it hasn't really shown much wear and tear over the past couple of weeks, um, this, even though I haven't been the most careful with it. Um, so um, in terms of connecting, um, it's been super easy to connect this, um, and it operates very reliably. Um, it does drop uh, sometimes um, when I'm in the middle of listening to music, it ha there have been times where it has kind of the the noise, the sound has the music has um, kind of come in and out. But that's because I was testing whether or not it would play um, if I was moving away from it. If I'm on the same floor of my um, home, um, there's generally no problems. Once I start going upstairs or downstairs a floor, and I've got you know um, you know some. Uh, an actual floor between us, then it actually, sometimes the sound does cut out a little bit, um, but I've gone as much as two floors downstairs um, from where my phone was to where the headset um, on my head was, and um, then there would be a little bit of some cutout coming, sound cutting in and out, but, um, you know, the Bluetooth is really easy to use, and um, it actually does maintain a very strong connection um, signal. I'm, I've been really impressed by that. Um, it's uh, again, it's very simple to use, simple design. Um, this is generally proven comfortable. I will say there is one use case which I think afflicts all similar products, regardless of manufacturer, where it's not comfortable, and that's in hot environments. Because what I've noticed is, uh, in a hot environment, then what'll happen is, um, you know. If, if it's hot in my ear, then this becomes a little bit uh, warm and a little bit, uh, you know, kind of sweaty. It's not super comfortable. So that's not specific to this, uh, you know, product, um, but it does happen from time to time. Um, if I'm outside and I'm, I find myself candidly reaching for earbuds, if that's the case. But if I'm using this, say, inside and I'm playing, um, you know, my PS4 and I don't want to bother other people, etc. This is amazing. And um, there's another aspect of this um, which has been amazing, which uh, is a key part of this product, which I mentioned uh, a few seconds ago, which was the automatic noise canceling. So um, this I've used on an airplane. I've used it in my home. Um, unfortunately, I, I recently had uh, my power go out, so I've had to use uh, excuse me, not power, my air conditioning go out, so I've used fans to try to cool down, and that those fans generate a lot of noise, and so if I'm playing PlayStation or something like that, automatic noise canceling, cancellation, if you've never used it, it's a revelation. It is unbelievable, and the ANC on this is very good. Um, what I'll do is I'll demonstrate what automatic noise canceling does. This is actually um, a, a white noise machine that I use. And so what you might have is if you're in an airplane or you have a fan on, you're going to have a lot of noise. And that's just kind of this droning noise. And what happens is when you actually turn on automatic noise canceling, this kind of noise goes from this to this. Like it becomes almost like a muted dull roar and the sound that you still hear is um, you know still comes through even more cleanly so um, that's been really amazing is to be able to use automatic noise canceling in, in noisy environments with um, kind of steady 
droning kind of noises, repetitive noises. Um, it doesn't drown out like, um, you know, conversations or things like that. Um, but it does for these repetitive kind of noises. It, automatic noise canceling uh, ANC on this is really effective. It's been really um, very impressive. Um, another very important way that these products can differentiate themselves is uh, in terms of the um, battery life and um, you know this does have a battery on board which is really nice it advertises 30 hours I believe that's of mixed use um, what I did was when I first got this I did um, torture test on two separate days and I got the same exact results um, basically what I did was I connected it to my cell phone and I played music for 13 uh, or excuse me I just played music and on this with the automatic noise cancellation turned on and um, just ran it straight it was essentially a torture test I, w I wanted to see how long it would play until it stopped and both times it basically ran uh, for 13 hours straight with no interruptions um, which is really really impressive um, it's not the advertised 30 hour time but I believe that is probably based on mixed use and not on uh, attempting to torture it and see how uh, long the battery would go but 13 hours is more than enough to get you um, in and out of uh, you know probably traveling uh, you know uh, halfway around the world um, via plane so um, it really is um, uh, pretty good in that front and if you're you know kind of turning it off um, then uh, you know if you might get even uh, you know more time if you're you know using it for an hour here or there and then turning it off so it's really 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 um, very effective uh, in terms of battery life um, so overall um, you know the sound on this um, what I use it for is I'm not an audiophile, I'll be honest with you, and so the bass on this is not the most powerful bass that I've ever used. Um, I don't listen to a lot of heavy bass music, but I, I haven't, I feel like the bass um, uh, isn't really pronounced in this, um, but to be fair, I haven't really specifically tested for that because I listen to like a lot of, um, you know, uh, podcast type material, spoken word material, and music that doesn't have a lot of heavy bass. But I have been very pleased with all the sound um, on it otherwise from my perspective. Um, so I would read, uh, look for other reviews um, speaking to the bass playing of this because I haven't really specifically tested it in that front. Um, but otherwise, I think this is an awesome product. Um, and, um, you know, you it should be worth considering. Um, there are definitely um, high-end brand alternatives um, so it's kind of up to you as to what your needs are um, but what I can say is is that um, you know this feels like it's you know pretty solidly constructed um, you know this uh, also as you can see pulls out for the if you've got a big head it helps but you know these bend really nicely they've stayed in place um, I you know maybe it was made in inexpensively but I wouldn't say that this is cheaply made per se if that makes sense um, but you know it's you know it's, it's held up pretty good over time and I think it's worth considering so thanks for watching my review